spend time and see my dad rest and spend time with the family, we'll still be here. Hopefully we'll become friends regardless of wherever you are. You are still who you are. So God bless you all. Thank you. Well spoken, well spoken, Michael. Um, we're coming to the end now, and uh, Dr. Odudu Barbara Magoha, may I request that uh, you make your way up here for your final tribute. Good afternoon, everybody. Today, a vision of 1980 has finally come true. It is a vision about my two parents, my father's two friends, and my father-in-law. And this is what took place. My husband, George Magoha, came to Nigeria in 1972. I had a scholarship the same year before finishing O-level to study medicine. My father disapproved of me applying for that scholarship. He told me I was blocking the poor. A few years, a few months after, my father passed on in 1973. I had to get that scholarship guaranteed by his friend. That's the number one friend he had. When my mom went there, the man said I needed to see your daughter before I can guarantee the scholarship. When we went there with my mom, he took a look at me and said, and gave my mom a dressing down of the century. He said, this one will never come back to this country. Why do you want the government to imprison me? My mom went to the office crying, and a junior officer guaranteed. And he said, 